Namjoon Pike is often called the original video artist. The Namjoon Pike Art Center in South Korea is a museum focusing on his work. The chief curator is a German, Tobias Berger. This is Boomtown Seoul. South Korea's capital is a mixture of the explosively modern and deeply rooted tradition. A museum dedicated to Nam Joon Paik has opened nearby. He was a pioneer and, to many, the founder of video and media art. The chief curator of the new museum is Tobias Berger. He's a German who's worked for some years in Asia. We're determined to develop the Nam Joon Pike Art Center here as one of the most important museums and art centers in Asia and around the globe. It's a great responsibility, but it is also an incredible privilege. Tobias Berge has titled the museum's first exhibition The First Stop on the Superhighway. At its heart is Nam Joon Pike's legendary TV Garden, a gigantic installation featuring 30 monitors. Less well known around the world are his paintings using Korean characters, which show his minimalist side. Basically, it's about extremes. Nam Joon Pike either worked in a very minimal way, as with Candle TV, where he merely placed a candle in a television, or TV Buddha, works that are truly minimalist. Or he was really over the top, creating enormous installations with hundreds of TV sets. They're very colorful and kitschy, but there was absolutely nothing in between. Nam Joon Pike was born in Seoul in 1932. He died in 2006 in Miami. He studied music in Tokyo and Germany. He worked at the Cologne Studio for Electronic Music, where he came across action art. His performances with cellist Charlotte Mormon, who wore mini televisions attached to a brassiere, were legendary. Videos and monitors played an increasingly important role, and Pike's work continued to be challenging. At the 1962 Neo-Dadaist Fluxus Festival in Wiesbaden, Pike stuck his head in a bucket of paint. As a child, Tobias Berger met the artist when Pike was a guest of Berger's parents, who were art collectors from Wiesbaden. Now, a dream has come true for Berger. We have all We've got all the film tapes that Nam Joon Paik ever made. It's an important cultural heritage, and it's a great treasure. Tobias Berger and his wife and son moved to Seoul six months ago. He's gradually immersing himself in Korean culture, lifestyle, and cuisine, including grilled rice cakes. The art market in South Korea has been growing slowly. Seoul has its own artist's quarter. Here, the focus is more on quality than making a quick buck. The Sanjay Art Center displays works by young Korean artists like Bae Young Won. This is a library made of cardboard. Art as a social statement. At the Namjoon Pike Art Center, works by Pike are flanked by those of other younger artists from Korea and other Asian countries. Some of the performance installations are quite bizarre. This is very exciting art, really informed. Many of these artists have studied in Europe and America, and they obviously studied with the right teachers, because what you can see at the moment is certainly without comparison in Asia. The artists and curator are indebted to the revolutionary spirit of Nam Joon Paik. The journey has begun. 
And it's far from over. Not for the Nam June Pike Art Center, not for me, not for Yong Chuli, the director here. Now we can start work. The archive, the 2600 tapes by Nam June Pike, they have to be organized and archived. And we have to expand the collection. So there's plenty of work ahead for Tobias Berger. He's already busy preparing the next exhibition at South Korea's Nam June Pike Art Center. <laughs> 